precisely each foot planted firmly. One fist lanced delicately to get the range, and then the bitter frozen work. A hard blow in the stomach, and Adam's hands dropped. Then four punches to the head. Adam felt the bone and gristle of his nose crunch. He raised his hands again, and Charles drove at his heart. And all this time, Adam looked at his brother as the condemned look hopelessly and puzzled at the executioner. Suddenly, to his own surprise, Adam launched a wild, overhand, harmless swing which had neither force nor direction. Charles ducked in and under it, and the helpless arm went around his neck. Adam wrapped his arms around his brother and hung close to him, sobbing. He felt the square fists whipping nausea into his stomach, and still he held on. Time was slowed to him. With his body, he felt his brother move some.